people of the internet, it is GSA Celeste Any Percent League. We got a Celeste uh, match, as I just said. I'm sure of Athens here. And we got Black Pair versus Moose SR. Black Pair 420 versus Moose SR. Excuse me. Should say all their digits in their name. Yeah, this definitely should be a good one. We got Black Pear, who's definitely been climbing his way up the ranks now. He uh, used to be pretty low, now he's back. He's made his way up to 7th at this point, so that's very good for him. And we also got uh, Moose, who has been uh, actually lately not having the best luck. So yeah, it's definitely going to see like which, way, which player here can get some good points to see stuff. And yeah, they're definitely close. Players are definitely close in their abilities. Hey Aaron. Just, you know, starting out the chapter one. some standard stuff um i believe they actually are still tied right now it's just because of a timer uh the timers weren't synced yet um within prologue so we're still seeing stuff going on right now but they are still pretty close which is to be expected because we're in chapter one so like i saw things far apart i'm like wait a second that shouldn't be right and yeah, Black Pair actually just took a death there from that from that moment, so that actually is gonna keep him in the lead just a little, uh, keep Moose in the lead just by a little bit, just by a screen here. And there we go, having Moose actually messing up on this trick, but so is Black, Black Pair's also having trouble with it, so yeah, Moose is gonna stay in the lead. Getting a, getting a 106 chapter one time for Moose. And a 111 on Black Pair's side. Not the best chapter ones uh, to start it off, but hopefully, you know, we can get it better from here. Chapter one can sometimes be a rough. Yeah, Moose going to keep the lead as he is going in, uh, getting towards the battle line chase sequence uh, first. And looks to be keeping it so far. Oh, but as I say that, Moose is going to die there, actually. Um, I'm not entirely sure what happened. It looked like he just... Um, didn't have his dash at a certain place where he wanted it, and so he just, it looks like he just in, might have been partially intentionally killed himself. But he's still able to keep the lead despite having that. They are in that same screen though. Uh, Black Pair gonna be taking a death at the start of that long screen here, while Moose is gonna be moving into the final parts of the chapter. And now Moose in the awake section. Pretty solid movement from Moose in this lake. Very good stuff. Black Bear actually getting that corner boost, so 
maybe slightly better there on Black Bear's side. I did not actually <laughs> quite catch what Moose just got there for the finish time. The 339 inside of Black Bear. Okay, uh, like a 333 on Moose's side. Ooh, Black Bear taking a death there just before this key. But yeah, we're actually seeing a lot of death. Yeah, this first run Rust is still definitely in here right now. Still shaking it up. Yeah, just seeing a lot of... Just, just a lot of, like, small deaths that are just being caused by little mistakes. Just little accidental things happening here and there. Okay, yeah, both working through the big mess section right now. Let's see if the rest of Chapter 3 is going to give as much struggles as the beginning of the Chapter 3 has had for the two of these players. It'll be very important. I want to make sure that, you know, players are actually fully into like fully in the mindset of running this game by the, especially by the time they get to demo dash like you don't want any real mess ups uh, um, demo dash forward pretty much because that could be pretty costly Moose going to keep his lead as going into the second section now of Big Mess. Uh, third section now, excuse me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Not getting the corner boost, unfortunately, on Moose's side. Black Bear are going to be able to uh, attempt it very shortly. Black Bear also not able to get it. And yeah, Moose will be the first one to be getting to the elevator shaft now. Playing it really close with those dust bunnies. That was kind of scary. I would never do anything like that. That was great. And here we go. Approaching Demo Dash now. Moose tends to have a very good track record with uh, with the demo dash. It's still gonna take, uh, he's gonna take the checkpoint this time around though, just to be sure. Which um, he has gone checkpointless a lot lately uh, in his earlier stuff, but I, I guess he just felt like doing the checkpoint just in case he wants to keep that good time that he has right now. Black Bear also taking the checkpoint. I believe he did fail at least once there. Moose did not get a failure. But Moose is struggling on this screen, and it's actually going to allow Black Pair to pull ahead. And so now we have a Black, a black Pair with a slight lead going into the Oshiro section. Moose is now starting to struggle with Oshiro. Like I said, after Demo Dash, like for um, the rest of, that cha of Chapter 3 is still very difficult and can be very punishing death. So you don't want to be dying at all, especially after... Uh, especially once you enter that Oshiro section. These screens are very long and very punishing if you die at the end. Black Bear now dealing with the final screen of Chapter 3. It's 
434 finish over there on Black Pair, so that's a really good time for him. Yeah, 816 out of Black, out of Chapter 3. Whereas Moose is in 826. It is now a 10 second lead on the side of Black Pair. It's a 451 Chapter time. Black Pear is known for being very good at Chapter 4, so this might actually allow him to go even further in this lead right now. Not going for Archie. That's fine, still get some really uh, good strategy there. Yeah, neither player going for Archie. Black Pair doing a uh, bunny hop approach to that to this uh, to that auto scroller skip, and Moose going to be doing that ultra strategy, so that actually is going to save him a bit more time there. Ooh, nice! Black Pair going, uh, attempted, attempted and successfully did that auto scroller without getting that coin. That is a fun new strat that I've seen a lot of players going. Moose not doing it, but uh, he's getting a bit closer to Black Pair right now. And as I say that, Moose is gonna take a death just before Cliff. Black Pair doing some very good navigation here in Cliffface. It's going to be tough for Moose to be able to catch up in this chapter. Black Pair getting a 2.44 chapter time and an 11.02 on that file. Meanwhile, Moose finishing with an 11.17 on that file. 11.18, excuse me. So we got just about a 10 second lead still going on here for Black 10 to 15 second, closer to 15. We're going in Mirror Temple. This is going to be a very difficult uh, Mirror Temple, probably one of the most difficult uh, chapters, not including um, Summit. There's a lot of stuff going on here and a lot of easy places to. Black Pair starting off Yeet. Oh, is not able to get the corner boost. Meanwhile, Moose is successful at the Yeet. Gonna be gaining that little bit of time there from that. As Black Pair is now Ooh, somehow didn't get his dash back there and is, and is gonna die on the cassette room and now he's just off cycle and very uncomfortable with what this with what he's getting right now for this rhythm so he's just gotta wait it out and now we got basically a tie between these two players as they are going through this this cassette room 
Black Bear going to continue to mess up, and we're going to have Moose take the lead right now as we are going into 5B. But it's very possible for this for this lead to change once again, as 5B is a very difficult area. Already seeing like two or three two or three lead switches at this point right now. Moose going to be going into Bub's drop. This is very important, yet again, considering how close we are and considering how back and forth it has been this entire match. Ooh, Moose ran out of stamina. He's going to be very careful going up to the transition. Yeah, and that's going to cause him just being so shaky with that transition, not able to get uh, not able to get the Bub's drop. Black Pair, meanwhile, able to get it on the first try. That is gonna put Black Pair just a little bit ahead now, as Moose is still on Bub's drop. But as I have said before, the difficult parts of 5B are after Bub's drop, really. It's not gonna... Bub's drop alone is not gonna decide who's gonna be in the lead out uh, once we leave 5B. This whole area is very difficult and could definitely cause another lead change just within this chapter. Black Pair is going to be the first one to go into the mirror here. Going to be just a little bit ahead. This is only like a 5 to 10 second lead right now for Black Pair. He's going to be he's going to have to work very hard to keep this lead. And there we go, we got a death coming in here on this first Seeker room. Not going to be able to get the key here with the Seeker either. Going to have to wait for it to recharge to pick it up for him. Ooh, and yeah, Black Pair messing up here on this... On this room here with the Seekers using the... Having to use Shockwave to speed this room up, and yeah, it's it's still it's still creeping very close by. Moose is just on the tail of Black Pear. Black Pear now in the Seeker Gauntlet room. This is a section that could, but definitely uh, cause the lead shift, especially with how Black Pear how out of cycle of black bear is he's doing uh, he had to adapt quite uh quite a lot there on that screen and now yeah we have a, they're basically on the same screen with a less than a second apart from each other right now it's gonna be very close at the end of the, uh this yeah this 5b finish time is gonna be very close with these two players yeah 1531 finish to a 1534 finish on the side of moose having a little bit of just flubs going on there at the end trying to pick up that crystal heart so just a about a three second lead going into chapter six now Black Pair successful on that lake skip. And yeah, every move in Chapter 6 is going to become very important now. Ooh, Moose not quite able to get that trick there on that screen. These mi minor movement improvements are going to be very important here.
Ooh, black pair taking a minor death. Right now we're dealing with some fairly short screens, so it's not going to be too big of a deal if you die. But once we get into the battle and fight, that's really when it's going to start to matter. Black pair opting for the top route right now. Did some very good movement there. I, I believe he got the corner boost. It was kind of unclear. And moves just barely behind. He honestly might be ahead given the timer desync. I'm actually not sure. Uh, let me. I'll see what they get on the grandma time here. So yeah, uh, talking to grandma at 1756 for black pair. And 17. 58 just about four moves there so it is really close folks as we are approaching the battle and boost and we'll be starting the battle and fight Good battle and boost from Black Pair. Ooh, Moose failing it just a little bit at the end there, and is also gonna die at the start. Not a good omen to start off the uh, the battle line fight. But these players are neck and neck as we are in this fight right at this point. And as I said, this is the area where you do... It, for, I mean, obviously you don't want to die anywhere, but especially not here. As you can see, these screens are getting longer and longer. It's going to be very important to stay alive. Oh! Black Pair flying past battle in there! Not going to be able to get the feather skip either. Moose getting the feather skip, but also flopping a little bit on hitting battle line at the end. Black pair now going to be approaching the second half of the fight. Black Pair is maintaining that lead just by a little bit. It's kind of hard to tell exactly where it's going to be. As the battle and fight can be very hectic. I'm going to wait until we get to the level up screen to really see who's going to lead as it is very close. The screen's are so long, any death is going to be so costly. 2108 on leveling up here. We're gonna be getting like a 550 right now on that level timer. And 2111 on Moose's side, it is only a three second lead for Black Pair as we are ending this chapter. Yeah, 2130, and that looks like that's gonna be about maintained unless. I think Moose just had a better navigation there as he is gonna get a gonna be getting a 2132 that is okay now he's gonna be staying 
just about at the same Just about still a two to three second lead coming in here on on chapter seven, the summit final area of the game. But this is, as said in chat, a very long chapter. This is going to be definitely more uh, plenty of opportunities for the lead to change once again, as we still have Black Pair in the lead. Also, a slight timer desync just by about uh, ten seconds here. So, being that we are in summit, we will of course try to get that fixed. And these players are very close, so very important to be able to see what the lead exactly is at all moments. Getting some crazy stuff. Black Bear going now into the transition to a thousand meters at around 23 minutes right there. And Moose, I believe, is in the lead just by a little bit right now. We'll be getting that sink shortly as it is looking to be so close, I can't even tell at this point. Black Pair are going to be entering at 23.53 on the start of 1500 me uh, meters. And Moose going to be getting there at 23.53 as well. We are tied yet again. It is continuing to stay back and forth. I don't even know what the sound is doing at this point because I can't hear it. But I hope something's going on. Oh, we are going to be getting that sync now. And look at that. Their movement is completely in sync on this screen. This is beautiful to be seeing at 1,500 meters right now. Black Pair and Moose are dancing with each other as we are looking at this section. Going to be seeing the Franker Zs at the same time. Moose just barely in the lead. We are now in the 2,000 meter section. This is, these sections are getting harder and harder and longer. Please don't uh, take that out of context as we are continuing through 2,000 meters. Gonna have these snowballs going. The only snowball room. Neither player opting to go for the, uh, the, the big auto scroller skip and it's just gonna do a little a uh, bit of the older one and we are in the next auto scroller screen but both players are ending up getting death here this is very costly as it is the auto scroller screen and so it is gonna be hard to see who's gonna be taking out of here in the lead black bear is gonna be the first one to get out but black bear also taking a death we're seeing a lot of spaghetti folks right now Moose is going to end up taking back that lead as we are going through some wall bounces here. And going to be going out at 2,000 meters, entering 2,500. This is the revisit to the Mirror Temple areas. Black Pair not quite able to get that demo dash there. And so Moose is going to keep that lead as we enter this next section.
Moves now on Key Skip. Going to be successful at it, and Black Bear also going to be able to get it first try. No problems there. Yeah, this is way too close to call. Moose now on door skip. And Black Bear is just close behind. Uh, has gone up to about a five second lead here as Black Bear is going to uh, uh, end up messing up door skip on the first try here. But Moose is messing up 2,500 meters final screen. And it seems that Black Bear might be able to catch up in this moment. Yes, Moose is also going to be taking another death. Black Bear has taken the lead here. Just on these little endings of the sections. And Black Bear is going to be the first one to get into 3,000 meters. And those final 30 flags touches down at 2739. Moose going to begin there at 2747. We have about an 8 second lead coming in for Black Bear at the start of, of 3,000 meters. But this is a long section amounting to almost 2 minutes. This is gonna, definitely going to be a point where Black Pair could still lose this lead. It's got to be very important, especially once we get to the updraft section. Um, you know, once we get past flag 20, it's going to be uh, some very, uh, some very long flags and points of very little checkpoint. Uh, you know, checkpoints going to be very far apart with these updraft sections. So that's really when it's going to start to matter. Yeah, both players playing the first 10 flags. You know, 30 through 20 very nicely. And Black Bear are going to be the first one to enter the updraft section. We gotta be watching very closely as any death at this point will change the lead. There is almost a guarantee on that fact. Oh! Black Bear gonna be taking one at the at the middle of flag 12. Not quite enough for Moose to catch up, but it's definitely helped him quite a bit. Approach um, in the middle of flag 11 at this point. Both players are there. Black Bear going to be taking flag 10. Moose not taking it. This is very important. If Moose does uh, ends up dying here, he will be sent back to the beginning of flag 11. Is able to save it, stay in, uh, stay alive. But Black Bear is definitely still in the lead. Uh, just a little bit ahead here on flag 7. Just about a three second lead right now for Black Bear as we are approaching the final five flags. This is crazy close and we just have a little bit to go here. This is still too close to call, way too close. Moose taking a death at flag three. Black Pair just at flag two now. But Moose is still on his tail. Black Pair now finishing it up on flag one. Moose is still here. A death here is very, uh, you gotta make sure not to die here. It's very important. We are looking at such a close race. Black Pair gonna be finishing it out first here. Gonna be taking that win as he's the first one to get there. Moose getting a 30-33, but I believe, yep, Black Pair getting a 30-30. That is a three second difference, and we are just on the first race of the day. And, you know, I can't handle this hype alone. Like, this is so much hype that I'm getting, and look at all that background noise that I'm gonna be hearing as well as see whatever is entering the stream. <laughs> D whatever, please adjust your fan or something. I am so sorry for that. <laughs> it's okay. Oh my god. I didn't have my mic plugged in. I'm so sorry. Is my sound fine now? 
Yes, it's good now, but I had some weird interference going on. But yeah, glad you are joining me as I can't, I can barely contain myself after that first race. Yeah, I just heard three second difference. That's insane. Yeah, we've definitely had closer races, but the fact that it, that is happening on just the first race between these two players means that we are definitely going to be, uh, st are definitely going to be seeing a show here. So yeah, thank you for joining me, Z. Whatever. I'm noticing uh, the players are not going to notice it, but we both got piranha plants as their as their Discord icons. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna quickly go into. We're gonna quickly be going in. Into race, race number two right away. Yeah, right into race two. All right, I'm all good. I'm really excited to commentate Celeste finally. This, uh, I would say, my first time. I've done it before, but that was solo. So, <laughs> let's see how this goes. Don't worry. As I've said before in a lot of the commentating stuff, I will go easy on you. I'm I'm very welcoming. <laughs> I'm I'm glad. <laughs> Love to get some new people into into Celeste. So it's a great game. I really need to learn some stuff, but from what I see, this game is insanely insanely precise. And yeah, there's gonna be a lot of little things going on. It's okay if only thing you find that is time loss is death, because those are big <laughs> ones, but there are also minor ones as well. <laughs> We're going to be starting it off now, though, as both in prologue. And just going to get the timers synced up. Just going to get their dash. I'm, I'm, at least I'm familiar with the game. <laughs> That's something. Yeah. It's actually like, I think the way the dash works is just so good. It makes the game perfect for speedrunning, in my opinion, because it's actually not that easy to execute, like, all the uh, dashes they're doing. Yeah, definitely, uh, it's definitely a good, uh, ta <laughs> a, a good movement method, a movement tech that they give you, um, and definitely if you want to start speedrun this game, the first, honestly, the first suggestion that I give to people is turn off screen shake. It is a thing in oh. the options, and it is yeah. not, it, it makes your, it makes your dashing and your movement so imprecise. And so you just really need to turn that off so you can actually know what's going on. Not nearly as clean as it looks now if you have the um, that on. <laughs> but I definitely should turn it off. I was told. I actually started uh, trying old site as well with the screen shake. And it's not that pretty. <laughs> no. Like it... Having it turned off. <laughs> yeah, playing it casually, it's perfectly fine. But once you start trying to do this really, uh, really precise jumps... It, it becomes such a hassle and like watching any casual player afterwards like if i just see someone like oh i'm playing celeste now look at this clip i've got and i see them have screen shake on i'm like this is disorienting i can't watch your i can't watch your clip <laughs> <laughs> and holy this this is actually yeah. insane yeah we're getting very close here both players oh that, that, that getting a 104 trying. for black pair yeah moose accidentally retry and the skip cutscene button is on the same location as the retry button so if you go to hit skip cutscene just a little bit too early you are gonna accidentally take it ass probably like a frame or so off of just skipping that cutscene <laughs> that's unfortunate also yeah, really clean city yeah both players getting fairly clean but black pair is going to be taking that lead and just from such a minor thing like that uh, accidental read that's it's uh, hope that's not gonna happen here again oh okay i was gonna say yeah that really only happens once in a while and once it happens to you you start to become a lot more careful people try you know of course people try to get a bit trigger happy try to get the skip cutscene just in like the first couple frames that it uh, is selectable but as a result can accidentally hit retry oh, i'm usually like, once you accidentally do that once you start to be a lot more careful with it well yeah pretty sure I, but it can still happen in a race i would say races are sometimes they feel random if, if you're uh, racing yourself it's everything can happen in any instance and unless you're just on a ready for it even if you like did the mistake before already 
Oh, right, and so, so and now some into some of the uh, one of the longest screens here in chapter two. Nah, I was really clean by back pair, just browsing Pluto without any issues, as well as Moose. Well, no yeah. mind, just to say that a little bit too far to the left. Yeah, just some minor movement things going on there. Uh, Black Bear is successful at getting some good hypers going on. Black, but Black Bear now entering awake section. This, these are the parts that uh, this is the stuff that you'll notice. Oh, see, losing the momentum there on Black Bear's end. There's like little things that are gonna cause yeah. uh, it to be a little bit slower in navigation. You also don't want to hit any of those springs as it makes you it, as it also loses all of your momentum. I just flying through that. I actually think that's so like the way speed works in this game is actually really nice. I love that. You can just keep your momentum all the way through. You just see it started so well in that section. Now we're just again flying through without Yeah, the way to maintain down. your the way to maintain your da uh your momentum is through diagonal downward dashing or bunny hops. Uh bunny hops will uh decay the momentum just a little bit. But they'll keep most of it. Uh, corner boosts will also allow you to keep them. Um, but mainly, you don't want to be hitting walls or corners, obviously. You just want to be able to continuously move through smoothly and keep that momentum that you've been gaining. For sure. And everything is like so in, in a, such a small frame window, right? You don't have many frames to keep all the speed you get, get from a dash, like into a wave dash or whatever. Yeah, the Ultra Dash is definitely... Or Ultra Dash, yeah. Yeah, Ultra Dash is definitely the do death. have some troubles there. De uh, death there on Black Bear's side. That is a smaller screen, though. It is going to keep him in the lead. But uh, Moose is just on that tail. Black Bear attempted to do a, attempting to do a corner boost, one. was not high That's enough. And yeah, yeah, he was trying to get a corner boost into that screen to be on the uh, onto a cycle he was used to. And it ended up Black Bear just died and was now on a death cycle and completely on something he was not used to in the slightest <laughs> and so, so yeah. much time there, yeah it's just something that runs your flow and <laughs> the death the death cycle being so different makes it even harder yeah that is a huge impact here in chapter three um once you get into a death cycle it is something that uh you definitely have practiced but you know it's at this point trying to be so smooth that you essentially become out of practice and the death cycle that you know is probably a, a lot slower than the entrance cycle for that room that you know. I actually, I wasn't able to watch the other race, so I don't know how they were doing in the uh, resort chapter, like if it was similar or not. But, oh, that, that's another mm. death of Black Pair though. Yeah, there definitely was some rust going on in the beginning of Chapter 3. I don't think it was this much uh, coming into Big Mess, but definitely like the first part, just like pre-Big Mess, like that whole lobby section where you're getting all those keys, mm. it was definitely a lot of rust happening in the first Chapter 3 for both these players, but it seemed to have gone away once we were uh, into Big Mess. So it definitely feels like there might be some tension that they're feeling, knowing that there was that three-second difference. There might be... Just a little bit of like, man, it, it might be messing with their heads. Break. Yeah, it's definitely. I Again. feel like something is messing with their heads right now, and the only thing I can think of is potentially the fact that they knew now know how close they really were in that last race. <laughs> yeah, also a little, uh, little bit of a hiccup there as well from Black Pair. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I would say it kind of goes into your just your mindset that is a little bit messed up then. If you keep like dying that often, it's just something that you can't recover that easily from, and right. just continuously it, mess you up. Yeah, it definitely can cause some sort of domino effect. Uh, Moose is going to be the first one into the elevator shaft section. Black Let's see how he's gonna deal with uh, Demo Dash is coming up. That's definitely I actually do know, kind of. <laughs> Looked into it's okay. it. If it's, it's okay if you don't know the specific mechanics of it, as long as you know they have to dash through a wall of spikes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like one frame where you have that crouch uh, in, within the air, right? You have one frame. Uh, you have a few. You have a few frames to do it, but it is a pixel gap that is the exact height. Oh, right. uh, 
the the gap is the exact same height as you, so it's pixel perfect, not frame perfect. Man, that's still insane. And he got second try, not too bad. Black Perry was that first try? I'm actually oh, and takes mm. a death right after. Yeah, the next. Like I've said before, the little things like the pixel perfect Again. tricks are not actually the huge important parts of chapter three. Once you get past it, uh, after that screen, going into that corner boost, trying to get what is known as the task cycle on that screen and failing it, unfortunately. So it did cause quite a bit of time. But Moose is messing up a lot here on this Oshiro, on these Oshiro screens and is giving opportunity for Black Pair. Definitely something where you can catch up on and, uh, yeah, so that uh, screen in particular that he was just doing, I saw Moose actually miss the uh, key, the coin, the coin. <laughs> yeah, actually fell down a little bit on that, but Black Pair no issues at all. Talking about these little diamonds here? Oh yeah, uh, aren't those coins? <laughs> Oh my, no, I'm so just, sorry. No, this is just diamond crystals. They restore your dash in midair. Coins are oh, no, no, the no, things. I meant, that... I meant the coins, the um, uh, things you have to collect to open the doors. Yeah, those are coins. I, I right. don't know where where there was a coin recently. Though. I don't think there are any coins in the Oshiro section. <laughs> oh, there was. Um, this is one screen actually. Uh, Moose did fall down and had to climb up. Um... Oh no, there is a coin. I'm, I'm done. Yeah, exactly. That's something where a black pair was um. Saving some time over Moose. Ooh, Moose, uh, sorry, Black Pair having some trouble on this final screen of Chapter 3. This is gonna be very costly. I didn't even realize what times we're at. We're actually at, we're in the five minute time range right now at the end of Chapter 3. That is not good. I'm not sure what Moose got, but that is, that is some really bad times, especially for Black Bear so right there. So many deaths, and now, now Moose, oh my god, that was super, super scary. Take, uh, took a little death there as well, but then again, Black Pair in the re resort, just way too many deaths. And also a little bit of uh, cheese at the end there, Noshiro. Yeah, Moose is going to be having almost a minute lead now at this point, going into uh, chapter... A super demanding lead. And, I mean, he did miss a spike on there, there but that's not much that, can, that Black Pair could save on. It's like barely anything, any room for Black Pair to come back at the moment. Yeah, I do have to say that um, there are, in, in reality, I have to think, Just like, that. like, all the name tricks are really not the ones that you have to be concentrating on. The name tricks are the stuff <laughs> at this point that they're named because we have to do them every time and they're like so regular and like we've gotten used to it at this point. The stuff that really can trip you up is those little minor uh, movements that happen here and there that don't have names. Like, you'll see it a lot, um, especially on these high wind screens. Uh, this one right here, you could actually get to that second bubble all to, all the way to the right with some uh, clever dashing on the previous screen. And um, Moose just cannot, cannot yeah, Moose, do it right now at all. And yeah, Moose, Moose not able to uh, get any backups there. Not Yeah, didn't go for that uh, trick that I was referring to. Oh, not getting high enough for that block, having to use another block there. Just like little things that you're not even catching, obviously. I'm so just saying that like a lot of things are happening in this screen, on these screens. Black Bear uh, ending up taking a death as well, though. Yeah, it's just a super, super fast, a fast paced game, right? And if you, <laughs> if it so happens that both runners are almost messing up almost at the same time, it's kind of hard to follow then. Yeah, oh, Black Bear not getting high enough for that uh, directional block either. And Moose gonna be the first one to be entering Cliff Face. Keep in mind, despite these minor things happening on both sides, it is still a significant lead for Moose, so he's gonna be in pretty safe territory. I actually saw uh, Black Bear not going for that coin. I, I don't know why he went for to wait for the block. It's not something I usually see uh, right, runners do. Um, well, you need that block no matter what, unless you're going for some crazy task strats. Oh, on that so screen. it doesn't really matter at all to yeah. get that coin. It essentially doesn't matter. I believe it's a bit safer to get the coin because, you know, the block can then travel yeah. a bit further to yeah. the right, so you don't have to do as big of an extended hyperdash. 
but if you don't get the coin, it ends up being, you know, like you have to do it earlier and you have to do it with the block a bit higher. It, it's it's a bit more precise with the with the jumping, but it actually is a, I do believe it saves a little bit of time to not get the coin. For sure. Oh man. And still that is a gigantic lead for Moose. Yeah, and Moose is understandably uh, taking a bit of a breather, starting uh, Mirror Temple off. That is completely loud as we go by in-game time, so the time spent on the chapter select screen actually does not impact the game time. Actually, something I was wondering, is it like, when you're doing runs yourself, uh, do people usually take breaks in between? I, I usually only watch uh, um, people, people do like take some, some People do take some breaks. Um, I believe... I, and it like, doesn't matter at all for runs. It doesn't matter right? too much. Yeah, it doesn't matter at all, although I do believe there is some rules on the leaderboards about how long you can take a break, just just because it can get annoying for the mods to watch oh, yeah. a, giant, actually... a giant run of that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's actually really cool, though. You can just take a little breather and reset yourself and get ready for the next chapter, which I really, really like, because my game, SM64, is like non-stop. You only have those short save screens. <laughs> And then keeps on going. I mean, yeah, but once you get into a chapter, there's no break at all. That's true. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It, it is like it like once you hit the start button on that chapter, it is a good like usually like five minutes of just go and go super fast as well. That was that was like a really clean five A for Moose. Yeah, I don't oh, think man. I don't believe either player got the yeet as we are both uh, Moose going to be finishing there at a 114, and yeah, Black Bear just a little bit behind um, in terms of the chapter time finish. Uh, as I said, the the file timer is a is a whole different story right now. And now 5B, uh, actually, it's insane to me. Like <laughs> watching people do 5D 5B is actually. I love that because, because you can die anywhere and just like that you can Moose takes a death on the spike. And another Ooh. one, almost like the same one. Not exactly the same spike, but it was a very similar. <laughs> <Almost> <laughs> <the same> one. <laughs> I was gonna say it looks so impressive to see people do 5B. I haven't done it myself yet, it's just done the regular chapter. This is Moose. Bob's drop. <sighs> gonna be It's understandable. It's yeah. It is a 10 second time loss there for Moose. Black, Black Pair able to get it on the first try. Moose there getting it on the second one. And Again, so, it, once yeah. you, you can still like look at the timers, Moose is still rocking that lead by quite a bit actually. Yeah, absolutely. That is what I was about to point out. But as I keep saying, 5B really starts after Bubs drop. That is really where it starts to get these difficult screens that are so painstakingly long that any death can be very costly. Yeah, and just like I, I saw Moose again. T took another little death there in the first uh, or second room after Bob's drop, so... Uh, brutal. Yeah, it is just about, I'd say, a 30 second lead at this point for Moose, which means that it has definitely shrank from uh, since the beginning of Chapter 4. Definitely was like, I don't know, m might have lost like a minute over uh, like from his lead in that uh, 5. No, not just 5A, but in general. Like, yeah, way, um, more, way more big. Yeah, 5, 5A really wasn't the point of impact. I would think it would be uh, the beginning of 5B, those two deaths that you were seeing, that you were talked about. Um, yeah. And or Bub's drop, and also messing up Bub's drop that definitely caused a huge impact. And again, takes another one, has to retry because he couldn't manage to land on the uh, Seeker while it while was recovering. And yeah, we are seeing Black Pair here, the first one, uh, looking to be the first one to enter the Seeker gauntlet, but it, it should be uh, Moose in the lead, but it is definitely, that lead is definitely shrinking. It looks to be... Uh, it could even be like five seconds at this point, I believe. Okay. <laughs> Black Pair almost throwing um, Hero too far there. <laughs> yeah, I, I am looking at what essentially is a tie. 
uh, as we will be entering chapter six. <laughs> kind of hard to tell as that giant break that Moose uh, did take between chapters. Uh, well, bigger than average break, rather. Um, and so we're going to be definitely seeing a very close timing here. Of course, we're not going to be getting any sort of sync just now, though. 27 for Black Pair. Let's see what Moose got. Yeah, it's still like a 20 second lead for Moose. Damn. After all that too, that was, that was so many, so much spaghetti in 5B. Yeah, Black Bear so, ended up getting a lot of, a, um, a lot of mistakes going on there after, um, after the Secret Gauntlet. So even though they got to the Secret Gauntlet at roughly the same time, Moose just had a better experience after, like just had a better gameplay after that. Right, and um, a reflection is this chapter, right? Uh, the one Black Pair and Moose are both in now. Yeah, that is the name of the chapter. You can honestly just go by the numbers. No one will, no <laughs> one will blame you for doing that. I, I've uh, I've done it. It's a nice name, though. <laughs> but I was gonna say that um, just the battle and fight that's coming up is. Also, it's such a treat to watch. I'm actually pretty pumped. Okay, I believe we will be getting a sync now. Uh, very shortly. Yeah, there there we go. Getting pause for Black Pair because this is going to be a large sync. So just strap in as we're just going to be watching Moose for a little bit. Oh, misses the... Yeah. <laughs> the dash on the block mm. and another little mess up yeah you're trying to get way ahead of the kevin block so that you can trigger that falling block before kevin gets to it so that he he won't uh the kevin block doesn't stop at all destroying eh. this little bit now you can finally see yeah, that he's actually ahead by a lot but not anymore for that death well it's not too bad actually but <laughs> yeah Something he's definitely that... ahead by just a couple screens now it's definitely yeah. It's definitely still a, about ten seconds right now, ten to twenty. That's insane considering how big his leap was before. Yeah, five B is, you know, that's just how difficult five B can be sometimes. <laughs> if you're just trying so to speedrun this game, yeah, just just tips. If you're trying, more tips for beginning speedrunning this game. Don't do 5B. Just, <laughs> just stick with 5A. You'll be fine for a little bit. <laughs> how much does it save in total? Like, if you had a perfect 5B again? Uh, optimally, save? yeah, like a perfect 5A to a perfect 5B is about a 20 second time save. So definitely something you don't need if you want to go. Even for like sub 30, I guess you could easily just do 5A if you had good movement throughout. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely. That is definitely very true, and it's also the case of like, uh, that's a lot of what I hear suggestion wise. Um, I don't believe there is a single person who has sub 30 that doesn't do 5B, so, <laughs> because it just ends up being a, uh, comes to a point where you're like, um, there's, you can't find anywhere else that you could save as much se seconds as getting an optimal 5B. Yeah, that is, that is the truth. <laughs> I think you see that in many other games as well. It's just, uh, you want that time save. <laughs> There's no way around it. And, and then Absolutely. again, it's probably good to also start with it like as early as possible. So you get used to it. And at some point, you're just going to be able to get through 5B without much is issues. Too. Yeah, it's very, tr it's very true. But it is, like, I hear the suggestion because mainly people are like, well, if you're going to start 5B, you want to have your the rest of your chapters really good. So that if you mess up 5B, you can still actually get good times. <laughs> so, because you you want to kind of have that sort of like that little buffer that you have if you know you want your other chapters to actually be really good as well. You can't just rely on that 20 second time save that you're getting. But, uh, yeah, I understand that. The movement overall is just so important. Now, we already saw a death from Moose there. Again, a small death, so nothing too bad. But if this continues, Blackbear might actually take it in this battle and fight. Battle and fight. 
Yeah, it's still very close. Um, Summit being a long chapter, we definitely saw some uh, mistakes happening in, um, in Summit before. And in this chapter as well, there definitely hasn't been... Like, neither of these runners have had anywhere near, like, a smooth, perfect run. So there's definitely some possibility of more trips that could happen for both players and make it get ever closer or further apart, who knows. Everything could happen. Was it, uh, concerning Black Pair 1, was Black Pair going into someone with a, with a lead, or was he behind Moose? Uh, Black Pair had the lead by about three seconds, I believe. But it was just so close. It was like the honestly, summit or <laughs> was it just uh, at the end, or was the entire summit really, really close? The entire summit was really close. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> sounds insane. <laughs> I might see that again. That actually sounds really good. I could imagine that both runners messed up a little bit, but everybody was that close though, all, all the way through. I mean, they were mess. They were just happened to be messing up, like, like having similar time losses for mess ups. Like, it definitely wasn't like really. It definitely wasn't like perfect summits from both players, and that's why the the lead stayed the same through all the summit. Like, yes, it was about a three second lead for Black Bear into the beginning of summit, but that isn't why it became a three second lead at the end. Like, yeah. It was so many <laughs> other right. things happening during the summit. Alright. And uh, these fights right now aren't t looking too bad either. We saw a couple of small mistakes from both sides again, but nothing too major happened when they're just getting through there. Yeah, Moose just a screen ahead um, with a minor timer desync as well. So again. Definitely looking like he's gonna take that yeah, into Moose. Summit Wild Patrol. Yeah, Moose gonna get that skip cutscene at 21.58, and Black Pair gonna be entering, gonna be getting about a 22.15 there. So yeah, just 15 to 20 second difference as we are ending Chapter 6. And we definitely did see um, a lot of runners messing up in Summit as well, so it's still... Black Pair can come back from this, I believe. I mean, <laughs> it could go wrong for both players, but Black Pair could and also win still. Yeah, and I do want to point out people in chat are correcting me that people have gotten sub 30 with 5A. I just meant that currently, any if you look at all the runs that are on the leaderboards that are sub 30, they're all taking 5B. They're definitely... They definitely do exist if you look at like the obsolete runs for players, but currently if you look at sub-30, all of them take 5B. <laughs> Understandable too, it's just when something new is found, people are just gonna catch up on that and just do it as well. Mind, if you get it done, it's a free time save. Yeah, once the discovery of Bub Shrop happened, people were doing 5B more regularly. There was a trick there that allowed, uh, like, before Bub Shrop was discovered, to still save the same amount of time, but it was just a lot tighter of a trick, so people didn't go for it. But now that Bub Shrop exists, um, it's all definitely something you can get a lot more consistently than the other strategy, so that's why pe more people take 5B at the I thought Black Pair was gonna fall down there, but what was I about to say is still had one more dash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> these runners just not giving up at all. It's looking really clean so far. Yeah, Moose definitely still having that lead right now. Though we are gonna be uh, approaching the. The difficult sections of Summit. Once you get to 1500 meters, that is really where Summit starts. That's once again the um, resort uh, part, right? With the dust bunnies and all those different cycles, I believe? Yeah. What essentially would be considered the mid the mid game of the actual chapters. Uh, the mid game of Summit, essentially is also very difficult because it takes all of those elements that you were having from the mid-game. Well, and 
Black Pearl is taking another death. Falls a little bit more behind. Nothing too serious though. And has to re uh, correct his dash there as well. Man. No, I, I, I'm sorry if I said comfortable. It, it is comfortable just in these first 1,000 meters. Once we get to 1,500, it is not. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. He might even, even with that 15 second lead, he might just hold on to it and take it home. But <laughs> as I said, that takes a little, little bit of a death there. I honestly would not rely on that, and if I was Moose right now, I would not be like just sitting on my laurels, just taking my time with 1500, like, or the rest of Summit, because you definitely want to be able to go through this quickly. It's also something I'm not too familiar with this game, but for OSM64 again, just comparing. There are a lot of safe strats that you, you can do and you wouldn't fall behind too far. Like you can slow down a little bit and just go safe without and not dying in Tippy, for example in the last phase of the game, which is also the hardest, just like summon. But that is I don't I don't see it much for this game, it seems like. <laughs> um it does exist, but the fact that it's the mere fact that that exists on every single screen. So if you were to do safe strat after safe strat, screen after screen, that really adds up. So you can do it on like one screen, but then I notice it. You don't like, I, I notice it. I'm seeing like little things that are happening, but you don't do it on the next screen because then you're just adding up those middle uh, minor time, uh, minor time losses that you're getting. Yeah, I can see that. That's actually super interesting though. <laughs> I love how it works a little bit different than what I'm used to from other speed games. Yeah, it's, it's simply just because of the whole rule of if you die, you are sent back to the beginning of the screen. So yes, you are taking safer strats on one screen, but you don't want to take the safe strat on the next screen because then it, yeah, stats up. <laughs> <laughs> and again, it's also like in most rooms, deaths are not that bad. Of course, there are longer rooms, but We've already seen a couple of really small deaths that aren't such a big time loss after all. Right. Moose gonna be first one um, to finish out 2,000 meters. Uh, I'm just gonna be uh, checking that timer just so we can get a really good idea of what's of how of what the distance is between these two players. Yeah, I've definitely been spotting a couple. Uh, safety stuff that's happening, but it's just they're just so minor stuff. It's just like I, I Not even fully worth commenting about especially when I'm trying to explain these things to the whatever <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm not too familiar with all the movement like not at all Probably just looking as insane as the uh, fastest threats. <laughs> yeah, me. yeah, trust me. I'm, I'm spotting them I see what's going on, but it, it's a very tedious this uh, to like point out every last one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I did a spot a little bit of swag there from Moose going back into the bubble after the key was activating. <laughs> that was yeah, cool. that's that's just a little thing because you have time to wait. There, yeah. There's a little bit of talent of downtime going on there. It's just something that Moose is used to. He did it in the first run as well. Definitely hoping to get more into this game because it's just insane, <laughs> insanely fast, and I love that. Gonna have to learn all the different routes that people take or can take. Yeah, gotta keep in mind that Moose. Uh, this is a screen that he was having. He had a lot of trouble with in the first run. Uh, able to get through it on the first try though this time, so that is not really gonna be any sort of um, savior for Black. And now that last part of Summit. Ooh. Still rocking that quite a huge lead though Yeah, still about a 20 second lead as we are at summit um, Not really gonna be impacted here in the downdraft section as these are shorter flags But once we get past flag 20 yet again, it will be the points where Flags are far apart. We're skipping flags. And so any death that you get um, Once entering the updraft section is just gonna be so much more impactful than downdraft Actually, that seems super scary to me. 
Just knowing that death can just completely destroy you and put you back behind yeah, because you skipped the flag or something. Oh, it's it's oh, absolutely it's... true, and that and that's really where the safety stuff comes in. Um, these minor ones, like fl uh, skipping flag 18 right there, it's a short one that everyone does it. It's not a big was... deal. Uh, 17. That, that, was just... that was just a missed input. <laughs> yeah. Nothing. Uh, got the flag, so not bad at all. I'm pretty sure th those kind of flags are what people usually take as well. So like the common th movement, I would say. Yeah, it's things that people take as well, but 14 and 13 are just long flags in general. So even though we're not skipping flags, a death on 13 is very costly. <laughs> Other than a death though, we're just looking super, super consistent. Yeah, here here's the series of flags that I'm really mm -hmm. referring to. Here at 11, um, and now you're going to see uh, Moose did in the first run. So, oh, not skip. I think he tried to skip flag 10 there, but failed at skipping it so he is able to get there some people opt to skip flag nine there as well and then you skip flag eight right there and then you're in seven so <laughs> so that That's is a large so series I, I've, yeah. seen, I, I've seen i think it was sushi who just took uh, a death after play like eight and then yeah, takes it, it all it, the way back to 11 and you're like yeah. what is that <laughs> so harsh And yeah, it's a good thing that, yeah, FC saying that in chat for you there, big flags to look out for is, uh, the last one that we have to really look out for is what Moose is in right now, flag number three, these navigation with the feathers and these narrow pathways is definitely a part that can definitely be impactful, and then you usually do skip flag two there as well as you saw from Moose. Nothing enough, like one, the last one, and this looks like definitely Moose is gonna take it home. A really, really consistent summon. Yeah. Both these players, unfortunately, gonna be getting slower times than their first run. It really was the spaghetti that happened in those earlier chapters. Moose gonna be getting a 3104. And it's gonna come down to race 3. Who gets the extra point? Yeah, very important. 3126, just, yeah, that means that maintained a uh, 20 second lead from Moose. Uh, this game is on every console. However, these both, uh, every player in the league is playing on PC uh, simply because it is the most up-to-date version. And honestly, uh, just my perspective, but I think it's really good to play on PC because you can choose with so many like controllers you can use. If you were to play on Switch, for example, you'd only have the Nintendo controllers, and that's it. On yeah, PC, they're... you can just use everything that you want. So yeah, on P everyone's on PC, but I have to. But the split between keyboard users and uh, controller users. Choose what you want. Definitely a big plus to play on PC. And just for reference, uh, the later versions actually, uh, there are just some speedrun tricks that have been found that uh, uh, can have potential to crash the game on console. They're not guaranteed to crash the game, but it, it is possible. <laughs> and so that's that's actually <laughs> really stupid, if you ask me. <laughs> Poor console runners of that. I I don't know if there are any at the top level. I... You probably know. Oh. Okay, so we, we just are... got a message that um, the both runner streams have to be restarted real quick. Yeah, so just enjoy the beautiful skyline of Prologue for a little bit, as this is just some minor technical difficulties that we're dealing with. But we can keep talking, and I guess I'll go back over to what I'm talking about. Um, if uh, <laughs> During Battle and Boost, if you notice, we're flying so fast that even during the cutscene, we just start keep flying forward. And basically what's going on is because you're about to enter a cutscene, the game is trying to slow your character down um, so that it can, so that you gum to a stop before talking the battle line. But because you're already moving so fast, 
it isn't able to slow you down quickly enough for you to not hit the sp uh, to not be above the spikes when it slows you down. So as a result, you actually, if you don't hit skip cutscene soon enough, you will die while in the cutscene. Ooh. And I've, um, I've also seen people get stuck in the ground as well. Yeah, on that. getting getting stuck in the ground is not as minor of a th uh, big of a thing, but actually, what would cause the crash is if you were to die during the cutscene. Oh man. Um, so that is no longer a thing in PC, but it is still very much a possibility in console. And we are getting adjust some adjustment here. It looks like we do have Black Pair's stream online at this point. And we're seeing Moose as well, getting a getting a little bit ahead. 103 on Moose's side. Black Pair, 104 for that chapter finish. Um, Moose just a little bit ahead as we are starting chapter Really consistent. I don't remember what uh, Moose got in the last race. He had a little bit of trouble at the end to skip the cutscene, but that looked actually like a really solid city time. Ooh. Doesn't get the dash, has to readjust. Yeah, there. Also, yeah, Flitter be pointing out in chat, there is a modding community for this game. So, if you want to play some custom levels, they definitely do exist out there. I've played a few of them. I played Summit A backwards. Backwards? That's a... <laughs> yeah, I, I went downhill. Not bad. <laughs> it, it is really difficult. I, I'm gonna try to do 7B backwards as well, but that one was... That is obviously way harder than 7A backwards. <laughs> Even though 7A backwards is really hard too. <laughs> it's, it's so cool. Like, I love that there are a modding community for this as well. I haven't tried it myself yet, but I should definitely check it out. Probably I'll some point good you. Stuff out there. Yeah, I'll point you in the right direction if you want it. Yeah, I'll, I'll go back fun. to that. I, <laughs> at the moment, I love it. It's definitely fun, and it definitely helps you uh, perfect some mechanics. I, I have to say, like, people are like, I don't want to try the harder levels. I don't want to do all these harder things. It's like, but it just gives your, it just improves your reaction time so much. So if you oh. are trying to speedrun, these little things actually can have an impact on your place, on how you play. And um, both these players now in the awake section. That's actually really, that sounds promising to, like, get custom maps that help you with improving. Just... I guess fundamentals in this game. Essence. That's really nice. Yeah, just understand having a full understanding of all your movement mechan of all your movement techs in this game is really useful and a lot of the custom maps are like can only be beaten with like some really advanced movement techs. Like they're done they're built like that on purpose. <laughs> And yeah, so, yeah, entering that uh, small but, lead. Yeah, moving oh. on from the mod conversation, we do have. <laughs> um, it is. Oh, it's actually, very, actually might be almost tied. Um, yeah, very very close as different. start to chapter three. Um, Black Pear is gonna mess up a little bit getting that key. And so Moose is going to be keeping a lead here as we are approaching the final sections of this lobby. And yeah, this is the lobby of the hotel, by the way, in case you didn't know. Yeah, that's um, something, the hotel is something that really scares me off. I liked this chapter before. I actually tried to speedrun it myself for a while, and that's really addicting. But this chapter is brutal to learn all the Very different cycles. It's very true, but I'm, I'm just saying, like, tr imagine trying to actually book a room in this hotel, because that is kind of the story <laughs> going on here. Is this ghost, this, this ghost that you've just learned about is like, oh, you're here, finally, we, I have a guest. Well, why, let me show you to your room, and you're just navigating around all this, all these obstacles trying to follow this ghost. <laughs> It's not, not the kind of hotel I want to be in. I hope that the hotel pace is a little bit uh, not as messy. That would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> I 
Moose going to be able to stay the, uh, stay in the lead as we are now in the first section of Big Moose. Looks a little better than uh, the previous race where Black Pair had a lot of... <gasps> as I say that, that's the same exact slot he died in before. Why do you do okay. this to him? Okay, yeah, I'm so sorry, Black Pair. That's, just... <laughs> that's so unfortunate. That's a very important race. Like, don't do that to him. <laughs> this is a deciding match. I, I, I'm 100% honest when I say that I don't want him to lose this one. I'm. A... <laughs> it has to be as fair as possible, so I apologize yeah. for cursing bad. Did not mean to do it at all. It's okay. Um, we still have plenty of the run to go. <laughs> Moose not able to get the corner boost. I don't think any player, uh, either of these players, were able to get that corner boost on that screen. So that's a bit of a uh, time loss from the optimal strategies. We're doing some good stuff here. Moose managing to get through. Going to be the first one uh, out of the final section of Big Mess entering the elevator shaft. Looking quite solid so far. I'm not sure if he's been messing up small movement things, but he's looking solid in the air. No big mistakes at all. Yeah, definitely nothing major. There, Of course, the minor stuff is always going to happen here and there, but the big part of being good at Celeste is actually improvising from when you mess up on those minor time saves. And so that's definitely what you got to... That's definitely the skill that these players have, um, have learned at this point. Moose on Demo Dash going to be getting Ooh, the, the first point. try. Yeah, getting in on our first try and is going for task cycle. Is successful in that corner boost. Uh, I believe he did play the second half of the screen a bit slowly, but most of it was task cycle, really. Black Bear taking so much time to set up, but gets it first mm -hmm. try as well. But Black Bear not able to get the corner boost there. Lost the momentum. Yeah, yeah got, a, got, got a corner bop um, there where you uh, attempted a corner boost, uh, attempt a corner boost, but instead the corner makes you lose all of your momentum instead of keeping it and you just slow down completely, missing your cycle that you want. That's so unfortunate. And yeah, you definitely saw how long you just had to stand there and wait for the dust bunnies to move up and down correctly until you could jump again. Oh man. Moose definitely gonna be having this lead as we are uh, ending chapter, chapter. It's kind of looking promising for Moose. He definitely like, he was in the lead the entire last, almost the entire last race. The, of course, this time it's not as big of a lead going out of uh, Zester Resort, but it's still a lead. So he might as well just keep on to that. Uh, hold on to that. I actually didn't pay much attention to the timing difference, but uh, let's see, 8.18 going into that room, let's see what Bla Blackford's going to get. Yeah, um, it looks to be from they were entering chapter 4, uh, the, just by the like way, a little seconds. trick, Ten seconds yeah, from, just a little trick that you can do if you just subtract the file ti uh, the chapter timer from the file timer you can actually get a rough idea of when they entered the chapter. Oh, true. <laughs> yeah, um, so <laughs> Didn't with, that in that. Mind, yeah, with that in mind, Black Pair uh, did enter, it appears to be about 10 seconds after move. The strats on <laughs> how to calculate the timing difference. Hey, it, it, it helps, it definitely <laughs> helps. You gotta find yeah, like, does, little does, things. Just like how in like SMO you look for the you always keep track of what the timers are at the fade out up to black at the end of each kingdom, like you gotta you gotta find those little things here and there so that you so that you can be a good commentator and know your info. <laughs> <laughs> One day I'm, I want to be a good commentator. I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> See whatever I know you're a good commentator. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Well, while we're talking, the black pair taking three deaths in the same room, falling behind. Even mm. the bottom one. Man, that's so rough. You, you don't want to see that. And it was almost like the same spot almost every time. Yeah, Moose going to be the first one to approach the cliff face section. <laughs> it, it seems like that definitely got into Black Pierce's head. That, that was another small mistake from him taking out about death. Yeah, he didn't get his dash back, and so he was trying to land on the falling block that he made, but it just was going too fast. Like, he reacted too slowly, and so the block was already gone. It is possible to catch up to a falling block with uh, fast falling, but it was already getting too close to the bottom of the screen, so it just didn't exist anymore, and he went into the death plane. <laughs> I don't know, yeah. Sounds like he couldn't even try to like save it much. That's unlucky. Yeah. Moose gonna get it a pretty good time here on chapter four, getting a 245 chapter timer and finishing uh, with 1044 on that timer. Fairly, fairly decent. No, let's see what Blackbird is gonna get. He's, yeah, it's definitely way more huge than the 10 second lead Moose had before. All those deaths added up quite a lot. 11 12 for Black Pair. Yeah, just about a 30 second lead. And in the f in the three minutes, uh, uh, yeah, it was in the low three minutes there on that fo on that chapter. So, not the best chapter to uh, chapter four. For now, this is um, something where in the last race we saw Moose actually like closing the gap a little bit, and now it gets, doesn't get the heat again. Similar to last race, but yeah, as I was saying in 5B, Moose actually <laughs> closed the gap a lot by dying several times. So, who knows? But maybe he's able to keep the lead this time. Who knows? Definitely a distinct possibility, but. As it keeps happening, you know, 5B, very impactful area. Super rough, yeah. Super difficult. And also, Black Pair doesn't get the yeet as well. Man, no yeets today. I, I, did, I didn't see the first race, but. <laughs> I believe there was one yeet on the side of Black Pair. And that's something. In the first race, <laughs> yes. It happened, there was a yeet in the first race. But afterwards, there have been no yeets. I'm not gonna be doing a, a legit yeet. I'm just gonna be saying it kind of calmly. Yeah. But oh, oh Black Pear! Black Pear taking a death in the set room. And yeah, he's trying to wait for the right cycle as he is not, he does not like the death cycle on this room. And, and yeah, Moose is approaching that Bob Strobe again. Can he get it first try this time? And he does. Successful. That is very important for Moose. But it's very true that, yeah, like I've said, Bob's drop not a huge, uh, not a huge impact compared to the rest of IB. But for Black Pair right now, it is very important. If he messes this up, you, it essentially will like make him lose any hope of catching up to Moose right now. For sure, he's gonna fall behind even further if he's not gonna be able to get first try too. Like Moose is setting the bike bar pretty high right now. It's not messing up anywhere. Mm. And as I say that, Black Pair is not able to get the bub drop. Is going to be losing 10 seconds. So that's brutal. And it is 10 seconds just because you can see the timer here. Oh, another see, one, ten, another 10 seconds. Yeah, yeah, losing. It, it's just because that's how long the screen takes. So you're redoing this entire screen. Um, so yeah, losing another 10 seconds, having to do the screen a third time. Now a fourth time. This is not looking good for Black Bear. Moose, has, at this point, definitely has a comfortable lead. And he doesn't... Moose doesn't want to slow down as well. He's just staying there, keep going fast. 
And Black Bear also took a retry, I think, or that as well. And messes it up again! Mm. This is awful. You don't want to see that at all. Oh, that's so rough. And finally gets it. I, I stopped counting, but that was <laughs> insanely harsh on Black Bear's part. Yeah, that was a very punishing sequence for Black Bear. And it's not over after Bob Strap as well, he's gotta go through five, the rest of 5B as well. <laughs> yeah, definitely true. Moose took some time in that Seeker Gauntlet and is, and took a death here on this screen. Obviously not gonna have as huge of an impact given how large the distance is in, in timers, but it's still definitely gonna be... Ooh, the save for Moose though! Good. Oh, but takes a death. Good use of neutral wall jumps, but now is now waiting for the correct cycle. Also had a bit of a flub there, but definitely saved it. That was a really naughty save though. No stamina save. Oh no, he had stamina. It's the... Oh he did? Yeah, it's because he was holding Theo that he couldn't do anything. Oh yeah, 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 right. Oh my bad, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, Theo was not allowing him to dash at all, and also you can't climb while holding Theo. You can only do those neutral wall jumps. Um, so he was, and you can't, there was no option to drop Theo really, because if he dropped Theo, there was the risk of it falling into the void and if Theo dies, you die. So he had to hold on to him at that moment. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I see. All right. I always still sick like the, non, the neutral drums. I mean, it's nutty, but <laughs> right after that took a small death. Oh, well. Kind of safe to you for nothing, but <laughs> that looked cool. Moose gonna be first one into the very section. Yeah, successfully getting like skip on first try and approaching hot low second. Just, uh, accelerating. Mm. Ah! Ah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just a he bit of a break in 5B. This yeah, level. A, a little bit off cycle. <laughs> yeah, he's not quite getting on these blocks at the r exact right time. And so he is getting cycles that he's just not used to. That was. <laughs> all of that 5B was <laughs> so sad to watch. There was so many mistakes by Black Bear. And yeah, Moose is gonna have a very, I'm uh, pretty largely here in this, ch in this chapter. So. And he doesn't slow down either. It's like he takes to the. He seems like he takes it home. He playing super consistent. I haven't seen a big mess up from him in a while. Yeah, Moose playing pretty smoothly. Um, is still looking at what he's going to. <laughs> as as you were saying, he takes a yeah. lot of death there. <laughs> Top <laughs> route is to... difficult. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've heard that a lot as well. Like, it's not that easy. Yeah, that that room right there is is known as taking top route because this whole area is uh, a lot of forks, and so you have choices as to which rooms you go to and. Um, there is both of those choices on that fork are are roughly the same amount of time with top route saving you I think a, just a fraction of a second oh damn that's not uh, that much concerning no. so hard <laughs> yeah it's not that much so if you aren't doing top route optimally you actually would be losing time to doing bottom <laughs> route optimally but it's just like players are used to top route at this point because that's what they've been going for a lot and it's probably also what you always see when you watch a top runner, so they might as well just adapt to that and kind of copy the movement. Yeah, exactly. Ooh. Oh, mm. gets well, I was going to say that looks really good. But... Yeah, lost the momentum, did not uh, jump a bit too high. Um, you're not fully done once you get that battle in boost. You actually have to do a little bit of a bunny hop 
once you get into the screen transition to navigate around um, just the little bumps in that narrow hallway. And it has to be a small one too. It has to be like a very small tap, like too much and you hit the ceiling like Moose did there. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> Millisecond, too much, A press. Oh, <laughs> jump press. I don't know which button Moose uses, so. <laughs> X press. <laughs> <laughs> It's still looking clean. He's this other than that, like that was a decent star play. And back there is still making his way to battle line. Man. You didn't even see as much from him in this chapter as well, in terms of mishaps, um, mess ups. Just for what happened in 5B was too huge. Mm, oh, and but Dustin's also almost the same mistake. <laughs> yeah, I think his uh, Black Bear uh, reacted to it a bit better than Moose did. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't think Black Bear went quite as high as Moose did that time. But definitely, even with that fact, Moose, uh, you know, the whole fact that he got jarred by it, still went into the mo uh, mode of trying to skip cutscene even though he was nowhere near battling and ended up free trying as a result. That was definitely like a much more costly decision than what Black Bear just did. Oh man. It looks so clean, like, <laughs> Moose is still uh, going through. Oh! Oh, I thought uh, Black Bear was gonna go for the Feather Skip, but then still went for it. Um, I believe he did go for Feather Skip. The actual. Uh, what ends up happening there is if you don't regain your dash, you end up just flying right into the Feather. So oh, he went. You went. He probably went for it and then didn't regain dash, so he just allowed himself to ca capture the Feather, which is. It's a really good backup, which is why players go for Feather Skip at this point, is because the backup for it is so safe and like so easy to get. So no real do down time, uh, yeah, no downside to it, doing it, Absolutely. if you can just back it up easily. Alright, and yeah, Moose just entering that summon so much sooner than a Black Pair. Yeah, um... I believe, I mean, that's, that has, that has to be, like, I think the worst time that he got so far in this race, in terms of the, of the chapter time, uh, almost amounting to six minutes, he was, I believe, like, if in, like, the 540s before, in his earlier runs. Oh, that's Enter super rough. Yeah, but he's still gonna be getting, you know, and entering... Entering uh, Summit at 21 minutes, just about. Yeah, both of these players looking at high 30 minute uh, times here. Ooh, Black Bear actually missing the feather has to. I Possib think he was not meaning yeah. to skip that one. <laughs> yeah, there's there's possibility of Moose getting a uh, 29 XX right now, but you know it's it's gonna be pretty tight. And just, if he d does know that he's ahead by so much, he might as well just go consistent and take a, hard, a low 30 over a 29 where he could <laughs> potentially choke with, on hard strats. I mean, what I said is, is like assuming that he goes for some hard strats because, um, he, you know, like I said, he started at 21 minutes, meaning that he needs something less than nine minutes of a summit in order to get underneath 30 minutes. And the IL record for summit is 807. Ooh, okay. So it is entirely, um, it is entirely possible to be getting really good times. Um, getting low 29s in this is definitely possible with the 21 minute start. It's just very difficult. Um, I'm expecting somewhere around like an 8.30 finish time or 8.30 to 9 minute finish time just given what I've seen in the past um, from these runners. <laughs> it's their time to prove me wrong. 
right yeah, here. It is absolutely <laughs> their time to prove me wrong. Yeah, people in chat saying it as well. Moose definitely has the chance to sub 30, but it is not going to be as easy as I just spelled it out to be. Looking quite solid so far though for Moose. Slowing down much, from what I can tell. And yeah, at this point, it's a minute and a half lead. And I've said before, um, in, in previous competitions, I think um, back when I wasn't commenting for, uh, back when there was races not uh, in Celeste that was in, uh, exclusively GSA, there was another one that I commented for. And there I did say that if you have a greater than a minute gap going into chapter seven, you're pretty much gonna pull, uh, pull out a win. Like there's, it, it's very hard for, a, a loss to happen, like for a comeback to happen at that point. Ooh, that's actually incredible. Um, I, I thought that man, <laughs> there, there are points where you can choke a ton in this chapter. There are, but there's nothing that amounts to a full yeah, minute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's such a consistent game, man. That's actually kind of insane. O obviously, uh, if you do, would do PB attempts, those small, uh, small places where you lose a bit t a bit of time not too much doesn't matter so much more but for a race like this you can take those small time losses and it's not such a big deal at all And as Black Pair enters the hotel section, these are already finished. <laughs> Not uh, letting go from the gas pedal. Mm, Moose. Never mind. Yeah, Moose unfortunately not getting an extended hyper dash there. And so did not have the right amount of dashes. Mm, Black pair attempting to go for this, attempting to go for this ultra dra uh, strategy here, and mm, is failing it multiple times at this point. Continuously exiting and re-entering because not used to the death cycle, you can reset entrance cycles by leaving that screen and going back. But it, you know you do cost a little bit of time because the transition sequence is a little bit of time there. It's usually around a second that you're doing that. I believe it's like 40. Uh, 0.4 seconds for each transition, so adding up to a bit of se about a second. <laughs> Ooh, damn. Did that a few times as well, so. Yeah, there the deaths combined with, you know, like how far it sent you back. There was a lot of time loss that just happened there on just that one. Yeah, as you were speaking of time loss, and <laughs> I think Moose just took a, an actually huge step in this room. Right after the, this, yeah, the power. Damn, send him all the way back to the beginning of that room. All those stupid, super long rooms. Yeah, Moose looking to be entering uh, 2500 at 2608. Uh, it's going to be very difficult for him to be getting a sub 30 at this point. And even after that, also took a small death again. Also, at an up to probably making it even more impossible, I'm not too sure. How possible it is still. It, it's very tight. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Definitely not uh, allowed to, do it to get such a death then. Yeah. Just for reference, it takes about two minutes uh, to do the final section of Summit, and he still has a little bit of 2,500 meters to go. Black Pair also taking another fall. Man. Yeah, two, two, I think it's actually like two and a half minutes, technically, so, <laughs> to do Summit. <laughs> so, um, All right. it, it's, yeah, he, he's losing the time there. If, you know, you want to, with that in mind, he has to be getting here before, like, has to be landing at the top of 3000 before 2730 right now, before, uh, for it to really be any sort of possibility. It looks like he's about to actually do it. Yeah, he's yeah. doing it, but that, but like I said, that is that gives, you the <laughs> yeah. that gives you the reference of just how close right now. 
super he is, super dude, he is very borderline sub 30 right i believe <laughs> Not making it much exciting for the race because he already had such, has such a huge lead, but he can still get that sub 30 if he holds on to like playing really consistent and super fast. And he's going for it too. He is skipping flags right now. Um, certain flags that he I'm seeing that he wasn't skipping before. Um, mm. that one he put that yeah that death is there and that that flag is skipped by many players at this point so that actually is one that i was expecting him to skip the death of course something i wasn't expecting <laughs> black pair entering uh 3000 meters out 2843 uh, there um so it is very comfortable at the lead of this point out um, almost two still, minutes there. Yeah, still all the men easily. <laughs> but yeah, Moose is going in. I mean, I don't think it's possible anymore that one death took quite a while like to recover from that. I don't know if he's still going to be able to sub 30 at this point. Yeah, it's, it's not looking possible anymore. You... Um, I don't know how much like this area takes, but I know the final five flags take a minute at least. Uh, take about a minute, so. <laughs> yeah, it's a big rip then. Yeah. Oh well. Oh, and that's another small death, but that one wasn't as bad as the other one. Oh, actually, skipping that flag now. All right. He, I, I think he actually only grabbed it in the other race. No, I'm not too sure anymore. And people in chat correcting me on how long uh, 3,000 meters uh, uh, is. I am making estimates right now. I don't know it by heart. <laughs> I was going by my rough estimates of what I know it is. And what the time is roughly around. Yeah, and to, to be fair, uh, I think it's good to give like rough estimates because you won't be able to go for like what record movement in a race, especially if you, for example, didn't have a record before. You know, it's still like a good estimate, I would say. But this, yeah, this definitely looks like easily moves his favor. Really, really comfortable. Yeah, not able to get the sub 30 as I was staying there. Not quite the best. Uh, the 3000 meters was just not quite optimal enough, ending up getting a couple deaths. Still a very good time. This actually looks to be potentially the best time that uh, the best time that he's putting out today. Getting a 30-17. And there it is. Wins the best of three. Gets an extra point. Man. And yeah, it's very important for Moose. Keep in mind that Moose is actually lower in the rankings than Black Pair right now. Ooh, I'm actually... Let me pull off the standings real quick. <laughs> actually gotta see how they're both doing right now. Or do, do you happen to know what kind of place they're at? I mean, I don't know the exact points, but, you know, the set wins are there. Alright. Uh, this is the second set win for Moose at this point. Where Black Pair, I believe, has four set wins. Um, Alright, so Moose is in 10th and Black Pair is actually in 7th right now. Uh, I hope that's up to date. I'm at the Smashed Up GG page right now. It should be up to date. Yeah, that's what I was referring to as well. So yeah, definitely move that. Moose actually takes over Scrap Lord on 9 with these points. So not too bad. And is tied on with uh, Psyched on 8. But yeah, sadly I couldn't see that first race. I kind of wish I was there for that ending. So yeah, that, insane. Was, Three that, definitely, that definitely was our closest race of, of that set. Of this set. Um... But still a very exciting thing going on. We, you know, coming down to the coming down to that third match it has been very rare. Although it is becoming a lot more common in these later weeks of Celeste that the uh, that we are getting a deciding match on that third game. 
Um, and we're going to have no interviews from either player right now. So we're just closing it out, talking about how uh, great this set really was. GG to both players. Big GG's. It was fun commentating. <laughs> uh, I will try to learn more about this game because, as I said, it's a sick game. And I definitely want to try commentating more. But yeah, that, uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, guiding me through, through this, Troy. Yeah, no problem. It's a lot of fun to have new people. Uh, just for reference, I I commentated this game for months, not necessarily a GSA, but I commentated for a long uh, for a while without ever speedrunning this game. So <laughs> it is definitely possible. It just takes some knowledge. It just takes some dedication. Yep. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, I enjoyed it. I'll try to get more info and definitely look forward to commentating future races. It's also a good set. I'm really glad it came down to the third race and wasn't kind of a sweep. (laughs) Mm -hmm. So we're going to go into a break uh, very short, uh, right right about after I finish this this, uh, this closing thing here. Um, And right after the break, we'll be going into another Celeste match. Um, Let me look. It's Flare Bear versus uh, Flodervi. Oh, that is. for that. Yeah, that's gonna be really tight. Okay, that's that's something you definitely want to see. So yeah, for sure. Stick around. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a good one.